guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a Primark makeup tutorial and like a first impressions because I've never used Primark makeup before ever I haven't tried anything so it's going to be a first impressions and I'm going to do like a full face of their makeup and I'll let you know my thoughts um, so recently I did a Primark haul I will link that down below if you're interested in watching and yeah, I just picked up all this stuff. I think I have enough for a full face. I might have forgotten something, I'm not sure, but yeah, we're just gonna roll with it. We're just gonna see how it goes. So I will let you know my thoughts on each individual item after I've applied it. Um, and yeah, we'll see what kind of look I come up with. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so I don't have a primer, um, so I'm gonna use my Barry M Primer Water just to start myself off. Okay, so for foundation, so I'm going to be using the PS, my perfect colour, perfect finish foundation, medium coverage, semi-matte finish. This is in the shade Porcelain. I haven't swatched this. I don't think I've even taken the, no, I haven't taken the seal off, so let's take that off. So I don't know if it's going to be the right colour, but it was the lightest one they did, I think, Porcelain. So hopefully it should be right. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And I'm going to use my Eco Tools Perfect Blending duo sponge comes in a set I don't know I'll link it down below I'm pretty impressed let me just look at my face close up mmm that's not bad actually okay so I would say that's probably like <laughs> light to medium coverage I wouldn't say it's full at all um, I would say light to medium um, but I actually quite like it it's I would probably wear this on like a natural day so if I wasn't going anywhere particularly special and I didn't really want to go full glam but I just wanted something natural I'd probably put this on so if I was going to like the beach or if I was just going somewhere in the summer where it's quite hot I wouldn't want like a heavy foundation on does this have SPF no it doesn't no, don't wear this to the beach, it doesn't have SPF. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'd probably wear this somewhere casual, shopping, because it doesn't cover all of the redness, it doesn't cover all my freckles or anything, so I wouldn't say it's full coverage. I actually quite like it because the colour match is lovely. I think it's pretty perfect colour match to my skin. It's really lightweight, it doesn't even feel like there's anything on my face, it doesn't, doesn't feel sticky. Um, it does say matte finish, but I would probably say... Oh, it does say semi matte finish yeah it's probably more of a satin finish in my opinion right so let's try concealer so I went for a stick concealer I don't know why because I never use stick concealers but I was just in the mood for a stick concealer so this is the EPS my perfect color concealer stick it says full coverage with a natural finish we'll see and this is also in the shade porcelain which looks pretty dark but we'll see so I'm just gonna paint this underneath my eyes oh that's okay actually that looks pretty light I don't know how much to use, so we'll see. I can always build it up. I'm going to take my Real Techniques uh, Miracle Complexion Sponge to blend that out. Okay, so, <laughs> no. Um, I don't think that gave any coverage. Can you still see my dark circles? I know I can. It did brighten my under eyes. Like, my under eyes are quite bright now. But that did nothing to conceal my purple under eyes. I don't know if you can see them on camera. But I can certainly see them as clear as day in person. So I think that's a bit of a no no I don't know how much that was I think it was about 90p something really ridiculous like that so it's not gonna break the bank right let's set that then with some powder so I'm gonna use my PS my perfect color mineral powder medium coverage oil free okay so I'm gonna use my elf small tapered brush to set underneath my eyes And then I'm going to use my Use Spicy 31 brush to set my face. I'm not 
not sure how I feel about that powder. I don't think I like it. Hmm, I don't think I'm too fast with that powder, to be honest. I, it actually doesn't feel like I've set my face, so we shall see. So, so far, it's just the foundation that's been good, so we'll have to see. So, I have two eyeshadow palettes. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to try, so let's have a look in both of them. So, I have this gorgeous one here. I also have this gorgeous one right here so you know what I think I'm gonna dip into both maybe there's um bronzer highlight in here as well which I might use later and a blush so I think I'll dip into a bit of both so I'm gonna start with this one this is the PS nudes matte eyeshadow palette so I'm gonna start with this like bone color here at the top I'm gonna use my Royal Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. I'm just going to set down some of that uh, concealer and just neutralise my eye a little bit just to prep it ready for eyeshadow. Hold on, I need to zoom you in. So I'm just setting my eye. So now I'm going to take my Morphe E13 brush and I'm going to take... Oh, what colour am I going to take? I'm going to take this like matte brown um, here. And I'm just going to pop that then through my crease. Do I wish this was a mirror? There is slight kick up. Like when I put my brush in, I don't, you probably can't even see it on camera. But there is a little bit of kick up, so just make sure to tap off your brush. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the next colour over in the middle. And I'm going to use my Morphe R37 brush. And I'm just going to pop that then a little bit into the crease as well on top of the other colour. And now I'm going to go in with this dark chocolatey brown shade um, and I'm going to use my Morphe M412 brush. So I'm going to pop a little bit of this on the outer corners, only a little bit because these are quite pigmented so I don't want to go too um, heavy on this now I'm actually going to jump into the Bride Tribe the PS Bride Tribe Bridal Face Palette and I'm going to use the eyeshadow on top here this one and I'm just going to use the same crease brush I used. And I'm just going to pop some of that into my crease then to um, blend it all together. This actually has very little kick up compared to the other one. So that's pretty good. I'm also then going to go back into this colour here. And just blend again. I'm just going to take all them same colours that I just used and use them on my lower lash line on a Morphe E18 brush. Okay, now I'm going to swatch this colour in the top here because it's shimmery. So I'm just going to swatch that a second just to see what that looks like. Oh, that's really pretty. I don't know if you can see. I think I might use that. Yes, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use my finger to apply it. Not that one, this one. And then I might go in with a brush to be pro to be more precise. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a Morphe M1708 brush. And I'm going to use this to be a bit more precise. So now I'm going to use some eyeliner. So this is the Golden Rose Smoky Effect Eye Pencil in Dark Brown. So, yeah, this is Primark Makeup. Um, so it has like a pencil eyeliner with a smudger so you can like smoke it out. So let's have a look. quite like the effect that the smoking out does. Now should I tight line with this? Let's have a go. I 
Okay, so now I'm going to curl my lashes using my number 7 eyelash curlers. And at the same time, I'm going to be applying the PS Lash Contour 3D Curl Lengthening Mega Volume Mascara. So, see how that goes. You know, if I say I am with mascaras. Okay, so that mascara, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think it's quite nice if you want, like, natural lashes. But I tend to, like, volumising, dramatic um, kind of lashes. But this has held my curl which I do struggle with. So, I have mixed opinions on it. I think I will use this mascara again. Um, and even if I don't, my mom will definitely love this. Um, but yeah, I think it definitely holds the curl, so your lashes do look nice. Um, but I don't think it gives you much volume and length. So, okay, let's move on to contouring. So this is the Golden Rose Contour Powder Kit. So it has a contour, a bronzer, and a highlight. This one's the contour, this one's the bronzer, this one's the highlight. So I am going to contour a little bit and bronze and highlight. So to contour, I'm going to use my You Spicy 27 brush. I'm just going to take a little bit because I don't know what the formula is going to be like. I actually quite like that. That's a nice contour. It's not too dark. When you blend it out, it's quite nice. So now for the bronzer. So I'm going to use my Real Techniques blush brush. I love that bronzer shade. So I got this blush, um, PS Blush High Pigment Blusher in the shade Adored. So this is typically my type of colour blush. I love these colours. So this is my Real Techniques Multitask Brush and let's have a look, shall we? I'm just gent... Wow, that's pigmented. Okay, we need to blend this. Wow, I literally tapped my brush in once. Don't know how I feel about that because that is ridiculously pigmented. I literally dipped my brush in twice and completely tapped off the excess. So, mm, don't think I like that because that's a bit too much for me. Can't be dealing with that. Right, for highlight, I'm actually going to take um, this shade from the Bride Tribe palette. I'm going to use my Real Techniques setting brush. Um, I'm just going to apply a bit of this. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I actually really like that. That's not too intense. It's nice and subtle. Okay, so this is the completed look. This is what I've uh, ended up with. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below and remember to subscribe to my channel. I really, really want to get my subscriber count up, so please subscribe to my channel. And leave a comment down below if you've used any of these Primark makeup uh, before. Let me know your thoughts or if you have something from Primark that I don't have that you particularly love. Let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!